Hey everybody, welcome back to Fail Meal. Chef Allen. And Chef Ella. We got a breakfast classic here for you. We got beautiful egg bites with bacon and cheddar cheese. This ain't no Starbucks egg bites. These are homemade. You know what the ingredients are. You're not waiting online. You're, oh, this is gonna be so good. Easy for you to make for the kids. They can have it in seconds every day. Ready to cook? Woo! Let's go. One, two, three, let's go. All right, everybody, let's walk you through the ingredients for our mini egg bites. We have five eggs, jumbo eggs, heavy cream, shredded cheddar cheese, and thick cut bacon. Now, the great thing about doing this, you can put anything in there you want. You could put broccoli and cheddar. You could put onion in it. You could put sausage in there, buy some breakfast sausage links, cut it up and put it in there. This is gonna be fantastic. All right, like I said, here at Family Meal, we want to get the kids involved in having all the fun cooking the food. Ella, what do we got going on? We're going to be shredding our cheese. All right, what kind of cheese we got there? Cheddar cheese. All right. And you notice everybody how she's keeping her hand nice and flat as she does it, taking her time. Okay, it's something you don't have to do fast, but the flatter you're able to keep your hand, the less chance you have of scraping your knuckles on there, right? Yeah. Great job, sweetie. Let's go on to the next step. All right, Ella, what's our next step? Cracking the eggs. All right, so how are we gonna do this? Walk me through it in case someone's never seen how we do this before. Okay, we're gonna crack it. Flat surface, right? Yeah. All right, two hands. Uh, what bowl? Into the small bowl. Okay, and then. And why are we cracking it into a small bowl first? In case we, we get, get shell. Right, we could pull the shells out, and right? Get it right there. There we go. And then, go ahead. And then. And crack it in, good job. All right, you wanna do one more? Yeah. All right, see, see how everybody, we got no, no shells in there. Ella did a great job. Okay, always on a flat surface, good job. There you go. And we're gonna do three more eggs. Mm -hmm. All right, good job, love. Woo. All right, Ella, so we got our five eggs cracked, right? Mm -hmm. No shells? No shells. All right, what do we do next? Gotta grab it and then put it. And Very good. Big bowl. Yep, set that aside. Good job. And then and what do we have there? How much cream do we have there? Can you see on there how it says? I should say it on the top of the bowl, too. Oh. One cup. One cup. So five eggs. Five eggs. One cup of heavy cream. One cup of heavy cream. Now, here's a nice little trip, uh, hint for you guys. Whenever you use heavy cream, shake it up first. So it's nice and incorporated, nothing can settle at the bottom. Now go ahead, pour it in, Ella. Good job. So thick. Yeah, it is. Now we're gonna whisk that together. Go ahead. There you go. Good job. We're gonna incorporate that, we'll go to the next step. Good job, sweetie. All right, so next step, we're gonna go to our bacon lardones. All right, we're gonna take it whole pieces like this about a half inch okay so we're going to cook this down and we're going to take some of the bacon fat and incorporate it into our custard mix that we made that's really going to have a great flavor okay let's go to the pan See, the bacon is not fully cooked through because we want to get some of that flavor into our muffins, our egg bites. So now we have our rendered off bacon fat. We have our egg custard, okay? We're gonna take just a little bit of this fat that I strained off. We're gonna pour it into our egg custard 
it's really, really gonna add a whole new flavor dimension in there. Almost make it taste meaty. Now you can see how the egg is kind of separated a little bit. You're just gonna whisk that together. It's gonna come together nice. Next, we're gonna move up to our portioning of our bacon, our cheddar, into our little mini muffin tins. And then we're gonna pour our egg batter and we're gonna cook it. It's gonna be great. Okay, everybody, so now we're gonna go to our next step. Chef Ella, what do we have here in front of us? Um, our shredded cheddar cheese and our bacon. All right, so now I kind of did a little demo for Ella, you know, but again, this is just food. It's a guide. You can do whatever you want. If Ella wants to load one up with bacon, she can. If she wants to load one up with cheese, she can. All right. Now these pants, all right, these are non-stick muffin tins that we got from William Sonoma. You can get them from Sir Latab. And we could also get them on our favorite store, store at website, which is H-E-B. Or you could buy them at H-E-B. Or if you don't have any of those stores around, where can I get them from, Ella? Amazon. That's right be at your house the next day. You'll be making these great little egg bites the very next day. So Ella, why don't you load a couple up, all right? Again, this is something that's kid-friendly, the kids can do. A couple pieces of bacon, a couple pieces of cheese. All right, once we get those filled up, we're gonna go to the next step. What do you think, Chef Ella? I'm gonna make one full of cheese. All right, you do whatever you like, because this is just food, right? There is no set guideline, it's a lot of cheese. <laughs> All right, good job, babe. Oh. All right. Mm. All right, also, if you wanna zoom in on what we have here. Again, everybody, this is just a guideline. You can put tomato, broccoli, asparagus, feta cheese, blue cheese, gruyere cheese, no cheese, all vegetables, onions, peppers, mushrooms. You can do whatever you want. If you're gonna do that, all right, you want to saute the vegetables first because you don't want to put raw vegetables in there just like we don't want to put raw bacon. All right, so our next step is we have our custard base. We have two cups. So that was five eggs, one cup of heavy cream, and then a little bit of the bacon fat renderings from the bacon we cooked off. We're going to use another measuring cup. It's much easier to pour in this way. Ellie, you want to give it a shot? Yeah. All right. Okay, so again, we're gonna have something that we have the kids involved in. So Ella would like to try pouring the egg batter in. So if your kids wanna do it, two hands, one hand on the handle, obviously, your second hand towards the tip, all right? Now Ella's gonna lower it down, all right, and gently pour it in. There you go. Stop, good job, go to the next one. Now, with the kids doing it, why don't you have them do the ones that are closest to them so it's easier for them to handle. The further away they are, the harder it's going to be for the handle. All right. Want to do one more? That's good. I want to do the one with all the bacon. All right, go ahead. Good job, sweetie. All right, buddy. So we uh, kind of realized we didn't make enough batter. All right, so we added another five eggs. We added another cup of heavy cream. So all together, it's 10 eggs, two cups of heavy cream, and that should just finish it off just fine. Whoop, a little too much. I'm sorry, we could fix that. All right, we got our mini muffin tins topped off. We're now gonna transfer it to a sheet tray and then place it in the oven this way because it'll be a lot easier to transfer and in case you put it in your oven without that, it hits the grate, makes a mess in the oven. We don't want that to happen. All right, we're gonna go to the top shelf, 350 degrees for 30 minutes. All right, 350 degrees, 30 minutes. Let's see what we got. These are looking great. I can tell right away that they're not ready. These look really nice, okay? These are gonna deflate down, but in the middle here, we can still see, we probably need another 10 minutes of cooking to go. Got a little overflow here, that's fine. These are probably done. These are most definitely done, I can tell. If you're not too sure, grab a toothpick. I have a larding needle here. 
I'm gonna run it through. You can see how it still has some of the moisture on there still. All right, so we're just gonna break that up, put that back in for another 10 minutes and we'll be good to go. All right, everybody, so we added another 10 minutes on here. So we've got a little bounce here. I think we're ready to go. We're gonna let these rest. They're gonna collapse a little bit, which is fine. All right, we got the hot pan here. We're gonna move that to the side. We're gonna let this cool, then it's tasting time. All right, everybody, so now we've let this sit for about 10 minutes. You can kind of see I trimmed off the edges here. Let's give it a shot. So it should be real simple. If you have a small enough spatula, you can do that. Just take a knife. See how, see how it's moving around like that? That looks fantastic. I'm so happy with this. You can gently pull it out. Okay. Let it sit. We're gonna let it cool down a little bit because it's still really hot. But you can see Ella zooming on the pan right there. All right. Super easy for you guys to do. If you want, you could even do these with egg whites. So if you're on a strict keto diet, egg whites, bacon, vegetables, fantastic little starter for you in the morning. All right, everybody, here we go. Moment of truth. Time to try our bacon cheddar egg bites. You ready, Ella? Woo! Let's go. This is what I was going to take. Guys, this is a flavor bomb. The cheese, hand-grated cheese, the bacon. It's like literally like eating a mini quiche. These are so good. Oh, Ella, what do you think? They're real good. I'll tell you what, if you guys do this, all right, when your kids wake up in the morning, you wake up in the morning, 10 seconds in the microwave to warm them up. It's good to go, you're ready to go. Why go to Starbucks? You can do this at home, do this yourself. All right, Ella, what should they do? Subscribe, like this video, comment on what you wanna see next and share to your friends. Thank you very much.